good looking sunset tonight here in Salt Lake sitting at the Sap Brothers just chilling got about eh, six and a half hours till we go pick up our load I'm gonna go to bed in a little bit just gonna work on uh, doing a quick settlement Sunday video for everybody now that we're back on Got our uh, first full settlement in again from being at home for that two and a half weeks. So, let's see if we knock this puppy out. Right? Right. What up? What up? Alright. What is today? September 30th. No. Yeah. Oh. September 30th, we're in Salt Lake. Settlement Sunday, Booyakasha. Finally got back, you know, we've been out two weeks, so we had a week turnover to get a full settlement again. So, breakdown on that, what is it, we run like, for an average week it comes out just about 5,400 miles. Well, we ran five full legs of the trip, Salt Lake, Des Moines and back five times. Our total revenue to the truck. God damn this stupid thing. <laughs> total revenue. It's gonna keep blurring up on me. Here, let me close this window. Truck's going by. Alright. So total revenue to the truck was ten thousand four hundred thirty-three dollars and five cents. Had deductions of workers' comp, insurance, and plus the two weeks we were at home or in Vegas moving, our insurance backlogged for a couple weeks too, so we had an extra deduction of 665.41. So 10,433.05 minus those deductions came out to 9611 57, $9,611.57. I believe that's what we actually had put on to the com data, right? Something like that. Yeah. So 961157 minus 223051 in fuel, leaving us a net profit of seven thousand three hundred eighty-one dollars and six cents. Seventy three eighty one, booyah to us. So not too shabby, I guess. Yeah. Math's working out. We're making about a dollar twenty. Oh, then I got the truck payment after that. My bad. <laughs> so, 381, Damn it. I'm too dumb. I can't figure it out on the fly. <laughs> so, I mean, I gotta shut the video off and go to my calculator and figure it out. Oh, here. <gasps> You're a lifesaver. I know. I'm a lightsaber. <laughs> You're so goofy. I know. You're funny. You're goofy. <laughs> I'll keep you around for a while. Sweet. <laughs> Seven, three, eight, one. And for all of you who've already four, done the math four, real quick. Just, yeah, everybody just hold else is already gone. Done. <laughs> Sixty-six. It's our normal settlement. Yeah. You know. Sixty-six fifty. Five oh six after the truck payment and maintenance comes out. So sixty six fifty five for the week. There you go. Shaw. In the bank after Shaw. everything got paid. So right back on schedule. We're just doing our thing. Tonight or this week we start our long week, almost seven thousand miles, three full turns, Salt Lake Des Moines. Now, the good thing lately, there hasn't been any canceled loads, which has been nice. The weather's still been good. Not much of a slowdown on anything. Although we were just watching Little Dog's live feed with Truck and Exec, and they're talking about rates are going down and stuff. I wonder if that's going to affect us at all anytime quick. Yeah, I don't know. We're on a FedEx contract, so it's a contracted rate. Yeah, I think the only thing that changes. The fuel is surcharge the fuel. may change, but. Because yeah. we average, I think it's right now around. A buck ninety three or a buck ninety five. I'd have to go back and check all the trips and stuff. 
get around buck 93, buck 95 to the truck. So now after does all, that include our deadheads when we get canceled loads too? Well, the mileage you count against us with the fuel we have to go out of pocket for. Right. But we yeah. haven't had canceled loads for a right. while. It's been a nice thing. We haven't had a canceled load in, within the past couple of months, maybe one. Yeah. So it hasn't been bad. Yeah. We're expecting canceled loads to become rampant yeah, once the, the weather turns. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but it's just the nature of the beast, you know. So, like I said, we're looking into that. I mean, cause, like I said, when things happen that we have to, uh, usually it's going to be here in Salt Lake. They cancel a load because all the West Coast freight and the mountains and everything, it couldn't make it to Salt Lake. They'll get consolidated, put on our trailer so it can go to Des Moines. So, what happens is they end up canceling the load at the last minute in Salt Lake. We still have to deadhead to Des Moines, 1,100 miles, empty. We've got to go grab an empty out of the yard and still go to Des Moines so we can be there the next night to pick up that load coming back to Salt Lake. But then you could be looking at, too, we could be held up in weather on the way back when we got to run empty from Salt Lake across Wyoming and stuff, high winds, snow, ice, closed roads, all that. That's going to be a nightmare. Um, you know, I mean, it'd be so easy when you're running empty across a place like Wyoming during the middle of winter with the winds and everything, too. You have to be blown right off the road if you're empty. I think we need a Definitely. New fridge. You need a new fridge? Yeah. It's not getting cold? It's not really getting cold, and the door is all jacked up at home. It doesn't seal, so it lets cold air out. Huh. Yeah, that's I, why we bought a cheap one. Plus, I broke the cord remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think about getting a new one, I guess. Um, Anyways, back to your regular scheduled back programming. To, back to your yeah, regular scheduled <laughs> bullshit video. <laughs> anyway, Little Doug and Truck and Exec were talking about there's been a drop in rates lately, so I don't know how that'll really affect us in the short term right now. May looking see, to the future. Looking to the future. If worried. we were still on this run, yeah, that... The new contract comes up first of the year. They may try to drop the rate if the economy slows down or whatever. So, um, at any rate, with the winter coming up, we already know this run. You know, it's yeah. that's why we got this run first part of the year because the team that was on it, they were on it for quite some time, but they kept what I, the gist I got from people at FedEx was they quit this run because. Last of all the canceled loads. Last winter, two months in a row. They had two months in a row of just losing their ass. And they finally said, we got to get off this. This is ridiculous. And we're kind of expecting the same thing to happen this winter for us. So, like I said, it's just business. We are actually thinking about getting off this run, too. Yeah. You know. I mean, maybe we'll Make your money while you can. I mean, but business, is, yeah. Yeah. business is business. You know, we yeah. just got to think about our money, you know. I mean, uh, it, FedEx doesn't want to pay for canceled loads. I mean, we got to go into our own pocket. Well, and then we and found the out Landstar takes sixty-five percent of our time. A truck of no, no use. Oh yeah, we finally got a, a truck not used order. They give us two. When we get a load canceled, they give us two hundred fifty bucks, right? Okay, two hundred fifty. We spend about four or five hundred bucks just in fuel to go to Des Moines anyway. We got to go into our own pocket for fuel. Yeah. To run this run, and. One way it's like seven hundred bucks, and the other way it's five hundred bucks. Well, it's about thousand dollars or eleven hundred bucks in fuel total for the entire round. Us to go one way is about five hundred bucks. So. So it costs us a dollar a mile to drive there. Yeah, basically, because we get two hundred fifty bucks, but then we just got paid our two hundred fifty bucks for one of the trips way back when. It takes some months to pay these yeah, out too, like, like three months or six June. months. Yeah, it was from June. So. We found out the 250 bucks, we actually get 65% of the 250 bucks. We're like, yeah, that's our 250 bucks, man. Landstar on top of it kept 35% of that 250 bucks. So we got 162.50 of 250 bucks. Yeah, I think th I think that's ridiculous that yeah, they should get a dumb. cut if yeah, why it's are they getting our a cut? canceled load. It's our canceled load. They didn't. I mean, they just had revenue that didn't come in, but we actually lost money. Yeah. Plus wear and tear on the truck, plus our time. You know, it takes us about 20 hours to drive there. From a business perspective, that's... Yeah. From our perspective of trying to run a business, incurring those kind of losses is kind of dumb. Yeah. So anyway, 10-minute video. 
I think that's good for a settlement Sunday. All right. So uh, about $6,600 in the bank this week, five turns, five trips or whatever, normal week again, we're doing our thing. Oh, well, I was going to see Stupid if one blur. of these questions will put out there, see if, uh, what answers they have. Oh yeah, we've been uh, contacted by a producer of something. Is this one of your personal questions or whatever? Well, I mean, she was given a, a, a rack of questions right. of like, what you know? What she thinks of herself? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are this? What are that? Blah 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 blah. Because they're trying to cast for something, and they want to know her and all the things about her. So she's actually run into a little bit of a brain fart with some of these questions because you know she, they're asking her like, yeah, like something personal, private life, or hobby to talk about on TV. Um, a motto in life. Yeah, what's our what's your motto in life uh it well there's one from the secret that um you just look at the road uh, you know 500 feet ahead at a time like headlights driving down the highway i don't know i think that's kind of short-sighted but if you're always looking 500 feet ahead and you're always moving forward i don't know I'd anybody say, got uh, a good motto i'd say five miles ahead <laughs> 500 miles ahead. Yeah. Five years what, ahead. And then one one is, what label would you give yourself? I don't know what label to give myself. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Dangerous when wet? <laughs> My mom said creative. Well, she also said crazy, but then she said, nah, creative. <laughs> what did you say, creative or what? crazy creative something? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I guess those are the questions. Yeah. I What's your this, motto? Yeah. What's... What would, what would you label me? What kind of person would you label me as? Like, some people would be like... Oh, bitch. <laughs> you know, some people would be like... <laughs> I always love that. This couple I knew, they're my old neighbors. I walked up one day, I'm like, hey guys, how's it going? And her husband, the, the neighbor, she was French, and her name was Wiza. And I walked up and I said, how do you spell your name? And her, her husband was right there. And he goes, H-I-T-L-E-R. <laughs> and she went, looking at him, you know, she was French, she got the French accent. Like, oh, you, you know, like that or whatever. It was funny though. Yeah. And he just zipped it right out, H-I-T-L-E-R. Yeah, I mean, I guess a lot of the questions they gave me is like, you know, because you guys don't really know who I am, so you can't really, you know, help me out on uh, that. Somebody probably threw some stuff out there. Yeah. Maybe I. Yeah. But Go ahead, drop some comments on yeah, it, Yeah, drop some comments, let me know. These are part of the developments we were talking about in the last video. Of We've been contacted by some different people, two different uh, production places, yeah. as far as people trying to develop something. So, yeah. and they want her to be a part of it. Be Not a me. Movie star. It's all about the chicks. If you can kind of figure out where this is going, it's about women in a certain industry. Blah blah blah. So there's no name for it yet. It's in development, stuff like that. You know. So, yeah, I still have to make the final cut of you know the casting. Yeah. So, so we're gonna make a crazy drama filled, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. there's there's a, a story. Yeah. Right. We gotta it's, sell it. Yeah, I gotta so, sell it. You know. So I need some good good stuff. Gotta be a psycho. Gotta be one of those Tough whack chick. chicks, man. Tough chick. Yeah. Tough chick. Yeah. <laughs> I've already been practicing. He's sleeping when we get to FedEx, and I get out, and I've been unhooking the trailer. Yeah, she's actually got out, started rolling down landing gear, pulling the airlines. <laughs> what did you do the other day, though? Oh, the, you crossed the airlines, so I got all tangled up and stuff. <laughs> and then you I couldn't, couldn't figure out good. how to pull the fifth wheel. Well, yeah. It's like the first day I couldn't figure out how to pull the fifth wheel. And then... He told me the little secret to pull up and over. And yeah, out. it's one of these types of things. Well, I know there's different kinds where it, you know, you just pull it straight out, it pops, you know, stuff like that. There's different kinds, and this one has the flat, long uh, pull rod, and it actually you gotta when you do it, you gotta like lift it up a little bit, and then go over to the left a tiny bit and pull it out, and then it's got a notch in it, and you gotta like lock it on. It's a real smooth pull, you know. It's just yeah. It's just thing if you don't know exactly how to pull it yeah, and, yeah. and latch it on the outside, it has a has a notch to to hook it so, out. So the first day he, he you know I'm out there trying to do it and I can't do it he tells me a little thing and I do it and I do it just fine 
And then the other night I was trying to do it and I remembered pull up, go over to the left, pull out. But then I couldn't figure out how to make it stay out. And yeah, I, it kept I, going I, back in on it her. It kept going back in and I'm like, oh my God. And my so I actually was got ready. out, <laughs> walked around, we got I the flashlight. I actually had to get the flashlight and, and look. And she sat there watching me do it and I just showed her up underneath. I go, you do this, <laughs> go over left a little bit. And when you pull it out, you got to go to the left a little bit again. Yeah, I didn't so realize there was a little ridge, notch on the shelf. So you can, I thought there was like a little hook thing it. that hooked underneath, like the other side down further. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was trying it was to do. Funny. Now you know. Yeah. Now, now you know. know. See, I taught you how to fish. <laughs> I just didn't give you a fish. Yeah. I showed you how to do yes, it. Yes, this is true. Now you know. Yes, Mr. Fish. You taught me how to fish. Thanks, fish. When I was fat, everybody called me Big Fish. Oh, big fish. Oh, what's up? Are you a tadpole now? <laughs> well, that would be a little big frog. Is that a guppy? What's a guppy? Baby fish? Uh, no, a guppy is like a little something else. Some other kind of reptile thing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me think of that movie Goon. When they're all in the bar and the Russian dudes are all, We signed his dick. Everybody signed his dick. <laughs> and they're, they're all... So what? His stick. <laughs> his dick. Oh, he didn't mean stick. No, his dick. Oh, okay. He, Say it a few more times. <laughs> well, my mouth's getting dry. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, pff, pff. anyway, all the Russian dudes, if anybody's ever seen Goon, if you haven't seen Goon, it's Go on Netflix. It. It's a great movie. It's great hockey, hockey movie. Oh, I yeah. love that movie. I love hockey. So I, anyway, that you go, everybody sign his dick. And they're all, what the hell? <laughs> There's all, uh, and the goldie dude is like, oh, that sounds kind of gay. And, and they're like, it's not the gay if you're brothers. He's all, uh, if you're, he's, and he goes, <laughs> uh, if you're brothers, it's uh, gay with a little dash of something else. <laughs> and then, you know, goon dude, he's like, glat. He's, he's like, my brother's gay, and, and he never signs anybody's dicks. You know? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. Anyway, it made me think of that, or whatever. Anyway, Gets. Long enough. Yeah. Decent week again, piling up the money again, doing our thing. Yeah, getting back up to where we were before we went yeah, home. Yeah, before we went home. We lost a lot of money when we yeah. went home. We were probably out psh, over 10000 bucks by the time that was all said and done. Not to mention Plus the revenue. Plus, lost revenue, too. Yeah. We lost another two and a half weeks, so that would have been another... Twelve to fifteen thousand bucks we would have put in the bank on top of the money we actually spent while we were at home getting the truck fixed, the whole move, all the outgo we had. So yeah, we lost a lot of money taking a couple of weeks off like that. But so it was worth it. We had to get it done. Yeah. So even though it'll take like a year to make up the losses, but yeah. Oh well. <laughs> so anyway, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Team, Team fish. fish. Yeah. <laughs> get right. between the ditches. Alright. So we're out. <laughs> out. 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 With turquoise and real diamonds!